Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, the news that the US won a 350 billion chip order has attracted widespread attention and many people exclaimed that China has completely lost the chip war. However, at the moment when the global semiconductor industry is fiercely competing, simply defining this protracted war as losing or winning is obviously too one-sided. Looking through the phenomenon to the essence, China's breakthrough in the chip field is showing amazing resilience and potential. 1. The industrial logic behind the 350 billion order. This 350 billion order is mainly concentrated in the field of high-end chip design and manufacturing. With its absolute advantages in upstream links such as lithography machines, EDA software, and core patents, the United States has indeed occupied the commanding heights of the global semiconductor industry chain in the short term. However, we cannot ignore a key fact. China is the world's largest chip consumer market, with an annual import value of more than 400 billion US dollars. The fact that American companies took away the 350 billion order is essentially a reflection of the complementary industries between China and the United States, rather than a one-sided victory outcome. From the perspective of the industrial cycle, the semiconductor industry has obvious cyclical fluctuations. Since 2023, the global chip market has experienced a transition from insufficient supply to overcapacity, and American chip giants have not been spared. Micron Technologies, net profit plummeted 94% in fiscal year 2023, and Intel has suffered losses for seven consecutive quarters. These data are warning that it is difficult to maintain an advantage in long-term competition by relying solely on technology monopoly and order scale. 2. The way out of the Chinese chip industry. Faced with the US technological blockade, China did not sit idly by, but launched a vigorous chip breakthrough war. At the policy level, the 14th five-year plan lists integrated circuits as a key development area, and the National Big Fund has invested more than 400 billion yuan in total, driving social capital investment of more than 1 trillion yuan. At the corporate level, local companies such as Huawei High Silicon, SMIC, and Yangtze Memory have risen to the challenge and made a series of breakthroughs in chip design, manufacturing, packaging and other links. In the field of mature processes, SMIC's 14 nanometers process yield has exceeded 90%, and its 28 nanometers production capacity has increased to 15% of the world's total, making it the world's largest 28 nanometers chip foundry. In the field of memory chips, Yangtze Memory's 3D NAND flash memory capacity ranks among the top three in the world, and Changshan Memory's DRAM chip yield has reached the world's first class level. These achievements have not only broken the monopoly of foreign companies, but also built the underlying foundation of China's chip industry. 3. Reshuffle of the global chip landscape With the rapid rise of China in the chip field, the global semiconductor industry is undergoing a profound change. The United States, chip hegemony is facing more and more challenges. On the one hand, the European Union has launched a 43 billion euro chip bill, and Japan has invested 70 billion US dollars in building a chip manufacturing base. The global chip production capacity is moving from concentration to dispersion. On the other hand, China's leading position in downstream application fields such as 5G, new energy vehicles, and artificial intelligence is feeding back to the chip industry, forming a virtuous circle of application-driven innovation. What is more noteworthy is that China's layout in the field of third-generation semiconductor materials, such as silicon carbide and gallium nitride, has been at the forefront of the world. The technological breakthroughs of San Optoelectronics, CRRC Times Electric, and other companies in the field of silicon carbide power devices are expected to achieve, overtaking in the field of new energy vehicles, renewable energy, and other fields. The development of these emerging fields will redefine the competitive landscape of the global chip industry. 4. 
The essence of the chip war is a protracted war. The semiconductor industry is a typical technology-intensive, capital-intensive, and talent-intensive industry, and its development requires long-term accumulation and investment. The United States' leading position in the chip field is due to decades of technological accumulation and industrial layout. But China's advantages lie in huge market demand, a complete industrial system, and strong policy execution. Just like the photovoltaic industry and new energy vehicle industry in the past, China has gone from following to running side by side and then to leading by persistent persistence and innovation. At present, the global chip industry is at the bottom of a new cycle, which is both a challenge and an opportunity. After experiencing the pain of supply cuts, China's chip industry is building a more autonomous and controllable industrial chain system. The loss of 350 billion orders may be just a tactical adjustment in this protracted war, rather than the final victory or defeat. Mature in the game. The chip war has never been a simple technical competition, but a comprehensive game involving multiple levels such as industrial ecology, global supply chain, and geopolitics. The development of China's chip industry should neither be blindly optimistic nor belittle itself. When we see that SMIC's lithography machines are working day and night, Huawei's R&D team has overcome one technical difficulty after another, and Yangtze Memories chips are emerging in the international market, we have reason to believe that in this war without gunpowder, China is interpreting the true meaning of resilience and potential with actions. The competition in the semiconductor industry is destined to be a protracted war of 10 years. Let us put aside the short-term victory and defeat and look to the longer-term future. When China's chip industry achieves a comprehensive breakthrough in technological innovation, production capacity scale, market share, and other aspects, the so-called 350 billion big order is just a small wave in the history of industrial development. The real victory will always belong to those who are determined, patient and innovative. The world's largest chip consumer market has supported the breakthrough. SMIC's 14 nanometers yield rate exceeds 90%, and Yangtze Memory's flash memory production capacity ranks among the top three in the world. China is breaking the technology monopoly with trillions of capital investment. The semiconductor game is by no means determined by short-term orders. When new energy vehicles and 5G applications feed back innovation, the lane-changing overtaking in the silicon carbide track has quietly reshaped the competitive landscape. In this protracted battle that has lasted for 10 years, victory will ultimately belong to the runner who has both industrial chain resilience and innovation endurance.